So this is the disulfide crosslink. When you first hear of the name Institute for Protein Design, you might wonder what they're working with in their labs. Proteins are the miniature machines which carry out essentially all the important functions in us and all living creatures. And they evolved over billions of years to solve the problems that were faced during evolution. But there are new problems today that David Baker and his team are working to solve through protein design. It's a unique approach. For many years, people have tried to make, uh, tried to modify the proteins which already exist in nature. And it's very similar to how our Stone Age ancestors were. You wanted to dig a hole, you went out looking for a bone that was roughly in the right shape and then maybe sharpened it a bit. So just as in the you know, 21st century, we don't go looking around in nature for things that already exist when we want to solve new problems, We're, instead we build things from first principles, that's what we've now learned to do with proteins. Meaning they create them from scratch. Their hope is to advance science and medicine, like creating a universal flu vaccine or cancer treatments with fewer side effects. I think I'm excited now because this is the moment and I'm excited about the potential because I think there's huge amounts that uh, protein design can uh, contribute to making the world a better place. From the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, I'm Katie Chen.